I should have took a before, 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 but um, day, Mr. Chase is making a pond and a waterfall to complement this one. <laughs> Uh, oh, jeez. Talk about pea gravel. And it's about three feet at the deepest there. And he's been working his butt off because that was like hard dirt. <laughs> it has, at least it's been settled there for since before. The only reason why I stopped at that level is because that is a clay level. Yeah, and so I know you can't really get that good a perspective from my video skills, but I am trying to do a before and after. You want to say anything about your pond? The builder only wants his feet videoed. So it'll, this will be really great to watch all the birds come up to it and the squirrels and raccoons even and hopefully, hopefully deer. But I tried, I, that was what a lot of my um, uh, planning clover was about too, was because they'll come to that or alfalfa. No, you're not in. It's not, I saw, you're not. Oh geez, everybody's fat over 50. And there's one of our little gardens here. I guess you can't really see it. Forget me nots from Grandma Devotney's uh, funeral. And um, of course, mommy and dad's. And, um, got some little starters here. Succulents, and I planted those from seeds. I think they're, um, I believe they're poppies, but I'm not sure. And these are daisies, enemy daisies. And that's Steven's butthole. <laughs> that's your butthole. I see it. And that's my, uh, for the um, delivery driver's goodie basket. And this is a baby, a hardy fuchsia, which was left over from David's parents gave him one that they pulled out of the ground that has a long history. I think Al's mom had it in her yard before she passed away. And then they had it in their yard before they moved here. And this is a really crappy part of the day to be dealing with, I think. But maybe they bought those flowers. Aren't they so pretty? I don't know. My camera really is sucking right now. Oh, and I bought these raspberries for $15 at the vegetable stand. There's three plants in there. We're going to plant them alongside our wild raspberries. And that is um, uh, dill and uh, cilantro and lettuce that I thought would be cool if we could harvest. Let's see. Here's another little garden. David's in the flowers. He's a girl. So. He brings all these home, and, and I love them. They're so pretty. I, I water them. I haven't done much garden work since, well, since I had my own property years ago. Well, this is my property too, by proxy. I married David. We were together when we bought it. Um, And I see a couple of doggies. Dug, dug, doggies. Oh, you can see our garden. So 
houses are. Boy, the sun's really dampering my project here. Um, those are, we just like to grow the tall sunflower seeds because they're so pretty and fun to, when they get like 10 feet tall. And these are doing good. Green um, zucchini and a tomato plant, which sometimes we have luck, but we don't really have um, for a sun zone. Not that great of a sun zone. There's a front porch with all the little things. Hummingbird feeders. Let's see. Huh. Huh. And super tall windows. And we bought this blueberry plant off the neighbor's app, the app I was telling you about. Um, Oh, I think it was for free, actually. It was a come and get it. So we did that, I think, last year. Like, yeah, because we never got any blueberries off it yet. And there. Um, hey. Hey, where you at? Jackson and Ziva. Jackson and Ziva, get up here. Come on. Come on! Good dogs! Good doggies! She rolling something, so now we gotta give her a bath tonight. And I don't know why she likes to roll in stranger poop. Coyotes. Just particularly, they were like, they were so close um, the night before last, I had to get the bear horn out and scare them that way because could have came in the cat door. Come on, Zebra Weaver. Good girl. These, just like kids, these guys are going to be pooped out tonight for being outside all day because they're indoor dogs. <laughs> We don't believe in abandoning our dogs to the outside. It's just totally rude. And there's my Robin. There's my little Robin. I, I water the grass. Whoopsie, just for her. She's sitting on that st on those pile of wood right there. I do, I water the grass just for her when I see her looking too long. And there's Jeeva in her swimming pool. <laughs> she got bigger and her swimming pool got smaller. <laughs> it's, it's holding water right now. Well, I better turn that water off. And here's the wild raspberries that we're gonna add. They actually produce pretty good when we take care of them. It's minus the bird poop that falls on them, but such is nature. And you just gotta give them a bath. And David made that. It's a dog. He made. Must have heard something up there. More wild raspberry. And this is a yellow rose that I gave Mama. Oh my gosh, I think I was still married to Chris. That's a long time ago. And that is the hardy fuchsia, once again. And this is my stand of projects. <laughs> I think I'm a painter, but I'm not. And some more starts I got from the dollar store so that they even grew with a miracle strawberries and a very beautiful fuchsia and I think these are some 
very rare poppies. I hope they make it. Maybe they want more sun. And those are lilacs that they were never they were never planted in the right spot, but we've been slowly trying to get them to come back. This one did. We should cut those flowers out. It did flower. But then Jack's is it's one of his regular, you know, pea spots, so it's kind of hard to. Yeah. Let's see. Oh my goodness, we have some beautiful flowers growing. And forest creatures. We have forest creatures. See one's way over there. There's a forest creature. Oh yeah. Except my best friend right here. That's my best friend. Yep, he is. He my bud. He my baby boy. Alrighty. And I got these um, solar lights and oh, I think you can buy three for like 27 bucks now. And I'm telling you they do not disappoint, even as dirty as they are. They turn on, they do, they do it. They do what they're supposed to do. And this is the other side of the house. Well, it sure looks like it could use another coat. Taking you for a walk around outside. Oh, I had to help that rose so it could stay up. <laughs> I think that's about it. not a very good photograph day is it or video day neither a bunch of birds the leaders up there so we can watch national geographics Whoops. Okay, okay. love you